Welcome to part 37 of Final Fantasy 15, and we are driving to Lestalen after recovering our car from the Empire. Now then, as we are going to check on Iris' well-being, I might as well explain about Ravis. Apparently, Ravis Knox Florent had actually called Lucius for reinforcements when Nefelheim attacked Tenebrae. And this is all in Kingsglade, by the way. So, uh, Regis came to assist Tenebrae, however, he only came to save his son. And when he saved his son, he pretty much left Ravis' mother to die. Ravis was not a happy camper, so he willingly joined the Niflheim army, became a commanding officer, and back in part 6, I do believe? Yeah, part 6. He murdered Regis out of revenge. So, yeah, that's the whole breakdown of Ravis. And while I'm manually driving back over to um, Lestalem, or should I say Hammerhead, because I do have um, a new part that I just acquired from our little showdown back in part 36. So I'll be able to improve the Bio Blaster for um, Pronto. But yes, as I was saying, um, as far as Tenebrae is concerned, Tenebrae was the first uh, area to fall at the hands of the Niflheim Empire, much like Nebraeus was the first to fall at the hands of Arcades back in Final Fantasy XII. Difference is, uh, at least Bosch tried to save Rex, but Rex was as good as dead, and he had no choice but to leave, as, well, Nebraeus and Nebradia was pretty much destroyed. All thanks to, uh, Nethocyte. Now, in the case of, uh, Tenebrae, it was destroyed thanks to, well, an invasion caused by the Imperial Army of Niflheim. And yeah, Noctis was at that area at the time because something happens where he hurt himself. I don't remember where, but he hurt himself and he was around Luna Freya at the time. So, Regis just came to save Noctis and just left. <coughs> he kind of had to because if Noctis died and something was to happen to Regis, well, the entire Lucius family bloodline would completely go away. So that's the gist. At least to a degree. Now, let me go on ahead and take off these exosuits, because after all, we kind of don't need them at this point in time. Wow, they still haven't took damage. That's messed up. Uh, let's go on ahead and wear the crown fatigues without a jacket. Same thing with Gladio. Because I need Gladio's attack to be up. And Pronto, I think you're going to keep your jacket on for right now. I'll take yours off when I start getting some better equipment. Anyway, time to turn in the bio blaster. Let me tell you, Imperial hardware is a right pain to take apart. Ain't no mystery I can't unravel though. Oh my aching back. Now that I think about it, I forgot to unequip the darn weapon from Prompto. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go into the options and actually unequip the weapon from Prompto before I can actually upgrade the thing. That's weird, it didn't do that before. Oh well. Nice. Now let's give it to him. Hand over your weapon and I'll get to work. Oh 
Now we gave him the Bio Blaster, we'll have to wait a while for the Bio Blaster Plus. Also, bear in mind one thing, even though we just recovered the Regalia, the Regalia still suffers damages through the battle. So therefore, we'll have to have the service. So, yeah. There. Even though we did have the clear path for the Regalia, in the ensuing battle, the Regalia can be hit and can be destroyed. So, you might want to be careful when fighting the Empire, because it can actually destroy your car. I'm just letting you know on that fact. Anyway, everything in order. I do believe we can go on ahead and start ourselves another hunt. After all, it's just uh daytime. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? He says when I actually go and fight and it's almost uh sundown. But yeah, as we get closer and closer to the end game, which we aren't really, but we're at the halfway point. We might as well say, because after this, after we go to Lestalem, it will be chapter six. Um, the sun will start going down really fast, as in normally the sun would be gone by nine o'clock. It'll start going down by seven. The closer it is to end game, so bear that in mind when you're actually uh, trying to progress through the main story, because sundown comes really early. I at the beginning of the game, sundown happened at around eight thirty, or at least seven thirty. That's right. Sundown happens at seven thirty. No, wait, no, no. no. Let me try this again. Sundown happens at 8. And then Great it went to 7. Walk, huh? And now it'll start going down at 6. It'll start going down faster and faster as the more we get closer to end game. But once you beat the game, the sun will actually set and rise normally. Oh, and we're taking on Spiracorns. I do believe that these things have Helix, um, the Spiral Helix Horns. And yes, we're gonna have to deal with these Spiracorns because there's more of them in that other area. And I forgot to, uh, throw magic. Because after all, these things are kicking my ass and, oh god, I'm in stasis. Ah, uh, where's an ether? Where's an ether? Okay, I'll just give myself a Magitech booster. That should restore all of my MP. I'm still in stasis. Crap! Well, I'll take care of the sparrow. Oh, there's more of those things. Great. Now there's Hungums around here too. Aw oh, crap, I ran out of stasis in order for me to... Nah, uh, I won't be able to do a uh, airstrike. Not an airstrike, a uh, warp strike. Okay, now I can thanks to that elixir, but unfortunately, the time limit ran out. And the trees are in my way and I'm confused. God damn it! Hey, where'd you learn that one, Noct? Stop doing that! <sighs> Just die already! Thank you! Oh god damn it! Oh yeah, sure, sure. Just just help me out here. Of course everybody's confused. Alright, we're done here. <sighs> That could have ended a lot better. At least there's only one spiral corn to worry about. And see, sundown is already happening and it's only three o'clock. 
again, it'll start getting nighttime at 6 o'clock. And it's not even daylight savings time. I was making a joke because daylight saving time do not exist in the world of Final Fantasy. Oh. We found ourselves some shield shears. And these giant crabs are kicking my ass. If I just know how to dodge, maybe, just maybe, they wouldn't be killing me like this. Oh, and there's a Spiracorn right here. That's the one we need to kill. And now that we got what we need, let's go back to the car. We'll have to go to the Stalin anyway, so... Ooh, treasure. Getting it. Wait, what the hell is that? A mithril... Oh, a mithril shard. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, wait a minute! What the hell?! <sighs> Never mind. I had to think about that for a second because... We will have a mission where we have to find mithril. The problem? This is the type of mithril that... Uh... We need to find. So yeah, it's actually a dungeon item instead of something randomly lying around. So let's hop into Regalia and go back to Lestalem. And we kind of have no choice but to do so. So let's just. Uh... Oh wait, there's a fishing spot over here. Yeah, that's right. There's a fishing spot over here. So let's go to map point, and I might as well show that area off. Because there is indeed a fishing spot, and... That fishing spot is important, as that will give you an upgrade to your fishing rod. Granted, you have to have the money on hand to get it, and also have an upgrade for your reel. So, you'll be able to catch, uh, bigger fish. So it being your wisest suggestion to come here if you're going to do any of Navit's missions. With that said, I'm going to skip over. I did skip the part where I went to the fishing garage. Okay, I was going to show off the fishing area, but... It was across that bridge and down there that there, there was a fishing area and it hit the 10 minute mark before I could show it off and I forgot that it did. I apologize, I'll probably put it in the next video later, later on, my bad, but that happened. <clears throat> anyway, I mean, we can talk to this guy and get ourselves some more health, but it really doesn't matter. We're at full health. It's good. Again, and tell all your friends. At this point, we might as well just go to bed. But as I was trying to say, that fishing spot that I was trying to get to before the camera, I mean, after the camera, the DVR shut off. <coughs> and I thought I showed it off, but I probably didn't. My mistake. That fishing rod, no, that fishing area is where you get a brand new fishing rod. I'll probably show that fishing rod off later on when I'm going after Navith. Oh, going after Navith's hunts, like, before we continue on with the game. So let's give him... <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, I don't know what's wrong with me. So let's go on ahead and get this guy the stuff that he needs. And sorry if I'm talking to the cutscene, but he doesn't really say much. We'll just go on ahead and oh, hey. see if he has another quest. Got another favor to ask whenever you can manage. Thanks in advance. All right, now we have to do the mission. Sting your praises, puns. Seriously. Anyway, 
Next up, we are going to go and rest at the inn because there is no reason for us to go out at night unless we're doing a hunt. <coughs> Trust me, we'll have to do night hunts here in Lestalem, but that won't be until later. For right now, we better check in on Iris because of the fact that Gladio has been trying to call her for the last several parts, and now we'll get to find out why she had her phone turned off, or at least didn't pick up. <clears throat> so with that said, let's go on ahead and start this cutscene. I let you down. I never made it to Kayem. The Empire came while you were gone. None of us said a word about Noct. They just showed up and then... <sighs> Poor Jared. What do you mean? What happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! should have been here. I, I couldn't stop them. But I won't let the Empire get away with it. They'll pay for what they've done. I promise. I believe in you, Prince Noctis. I'm taking Talcott, and we're going to Kayim. We... We can't just stay here and do nothing. I understand. With Jared dead, ladies and gents, that's the end of chapter 5. Well, chapter 5 really wasn't that long of a chapter. It was just us getting the rune stars and rune stones and getting our car back. And, well, now Jared's dead. So all this time, while we were trying to infiltrate the Empire, the Empire came and attacked us. Folks, that was no dream. That is unfortunately the fate of Pura when Noctis was trying to fend off Niflheim back in Tenebrae. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, this is a good stopping point to end this part here. And what's going to happen in the next part, we're going to start Chapter 6. But before we actually start the initial main quest of Chapter 6, I'm going to pick up a few side quests and get a little bit of cash before we actually go there. And once we start on the main side quest, there'll be a certain part where it'll break off into a another side quest, which will immediately put us on the road to chapter seven, possibly the road of no return. So before we get to that point, then I will break off and do the Chocobo Festival 
that is going to still be available hopefully by the end of September. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also going to say that sorry that this has been delayed and also Paper Mario may be delayed because of the fact that there was a thunderstorm and we had no internet. So expect this part to be out uh, tonight. Well, actually, expect this part to be out later on today, but expect Paper Mario to be out on Monday. So I will see you guys in part 38 when I start chapter 6. This is RVMan985. See you guys next time.